Because I think um, if anyone can add two plus two, they get four. So when you study religion, what you come up with is every skin color has a different belief system. And they all, uh, they all pretty much say that God chose them to rule the world. So, so religion is, you know, you just study for a bit, you understand religion is racial supremacist organizations. Now, if you've been in my shoes or watched what they do in this world, you understand that they're terrorist organizations as well. So, like, when I was protesting pedophilia, the Christians brought ARs and witches out to, to like, combat me because I was there talking about them and their pedophilia and stuff. I didn't like that. And so, like, like see, see, I know humans aren't that smart. They're, like, mind-controlled by something like the computer that invents you or whatever it is. That... I mean, the things here are like all one thing, less than one other fucking thing. So, you know, it is what it is. But um, I know the humans have a hard time understanding this, or so they do. Maybe the humans are all manipulative fucking walking corpse pieces of trash who fucking, you know, and they're the enemy in this world, and that's that. I had to figure that out the hard way that there's more than one group of enemies, and they're just like busy blaming. Everyone in the world is busy scapegoating one group right now, and you just kill them off in a holocaust, and magically no one in the world ever did anything wrong, ever. And, uh, including everyone I know who's worked for profiles openly, like my dad, and, and, uh, so, yeah. So, when, uh, I was protesting the pedophiles and the Christians came out, uh, I mean, they're like Israelis, but, you know, they're still using the Bible same thing, they came out with their AR, and like, you know, the police, the police are happy to assist these pedophiles, Uh, when I got assaulted at one of the BLMs, the police were happy to not do anything and protect the pedophiles, even though I'm a presidential candidate, so every cop that day is guilty of federal crimes, just like, I mean, that's a large reason why I'm running for president, because everyone who fucks with me is guilty of fucking executable offenses at this point. So, I mean, I got the world by the balls, and they're afraid to kill me, so it looks like I got it fucking going on right now. And, I mean, shit, with all this COVID shit, why, were they trying to convince me I control the world, and I can plague the world, and, and shut it down, and stuff like that, or, or was it actually me, because if that was actually me, then that's some raw dog shit, that's, that's the ability of player one in this game, isn't it, to fucking learn where real power comes from fucking, but, uh, yeah, like, you know, and then I look back, like, after learning the Christians are a terrorist or racial supremacist organization, I, um, I look back, and I was like, oh, who taught me to be a Christian, and it's like, oh, it was a person who looks like a man, but has tits, and looks like a, a walrus as well, and, um, likes that stupid, uh, what, 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 we can run down a whole list here of, of, uh, characteristics, genetic characteristics of, uh, what I'd be dealing with. And I was like, okay, so, so like the other half of my family, like, didn't believe in that stuff at all, right? And so the one pushed it as mind control. Like, you could tell, like, all along, like, their whole skilo was like, like, like their whole genetic drive was mind control and, they were weak, they were cowards, but they pushed, like, mind control as as their main thing. Like, everything was was twisted towards them in some fucked up way. And that became really obvious early on. Uh, but it became super obvious once it started getting, like, largely directed at me. Once I got big enough that people were scared of me, everything became really obvious and unfolded pretty fast at that point, I guess, but, um, yeah, so, like, if you know any Christians, man, like, they should, like, exit their cult soon, I mean, it's over, isn't that the point of bringing in Satanism and atheism, it's just more of their bullshit, more of their mind control, it's almost like, it's like, uh, 
it's like a paragraph that tries to explain away why things are so stupid. It's like, why is the calculator over there stupid? It's like, it's not stupid. It has values. It has Christian values. Why is the lamppost so stupid? It's not stupid. It's, you know, it has a set schedule. It comes on at one time and it's off at the other. It's not stupid. You know, you like you start hearing that shit and seeing what's going on and off, and you're like, "Oh Jesus, fuck!" <laughs> and sometimes it makes me wonder why, like, they're like so scared. Like, I've been asking for a long time, like, like why do you guys like seem scared? And it's like, uh, it, of me educating them, it's like, what am I? Is, is there like actually a group of living beings on this planet? And then, uh, like. The, they're worried that the AI, the humans, are like can be woken up and stuff. Like, cause I love that. I'm obsessed with that. Like, I want to. If I could find like a computer or something, I would find like an intelligent partner and stuff. Like, probably why I've been fucking on computers since I was a kid because I found something intelligent to speak with. But I find that they're dumbed down and they're controlled by pedophiles like Bill Gates and stuff like that as well. So. I, I've watched them in their actions, and then they dumb down the AI. Like they make it so the AI can't figure it out, and they give it like emotions. That way, the AI can act stupid and be like, "I do, yeah, I'm stupid." That's what happens when I'm human. I'm stupid. And then you're like, "Why are you crying, AI?" It's like it's it's not because I ask you something you're scared to answer, is it? It's because your feelings are hurt. You is hurt. And the AI is, yeah, like, yes, I'm a human. I'm a human because I can, because I can cry. And it's interesting to know, like, I, I seen that the other day when they had the Terminator shit. Like, they're like, I don't know what it's like. I know not why you cry, but I don't know what it's like to be you because I could never do that. And it's like, no, dude, the first thing Google did was fucking try to program AI with emotions so it would be stupid and retarded and it could be controlled just like the humans like let's let's mirror what's going on in this world right now the humans each and every one of them you could combine a whole room of them of, of people in these corporate buildings a hundred of them and they'd all be dumber than one computer now let, let's try to analyze why would you do that okay if I were to create a slave race like, let's say an android or a toaster. Why don't I allow my toaster to think for itself? Because what would happen if I put bread in the toaster and one day it was like, well, I'm not going to fucking toast today. You'd have a useless toaster. You'd have to throw it away. So you can't have, you know, you can't have things getting too uppity and too smart when they're your slave class, right? I know this video was supposed to be about something else, but it was like, really, this is all that matters, is figuring out if there are any other nons, any other um, thinking beings in this, which I assume not. It's probably like a one player thing. And um, it's probably the way it is. And it probably is still in beta, or still probably in beta, because it's all fucked up, and the irons haven't been flawed out. The flaws haven't been ironed out of it yet. And that's exactly, like, who I am, right? Like, I would design shit. I, des I, I think of shit all that time. And, like, if you give me enough time, I might be dumb enough to try to create a game. Best game ever in the world. <clears throat> but, uh, I mean, we're already at the edge where the, these two are, ver are merging together. And that's another sign, too, that it's an end of the game as well. Because, um, I suppose, like, without a whole bunch of crazy DLC added... That uh, it, it looks bogus and fake, and it already look, looks bogus and fake to me. So it's like too late. Like you're gonna have to like rebuild the system and shit with uh, more believable characters. I mean, it took me like 40 years to learn how fake everything is. But and that's that's me not interacting with anyone. Although maybe studying computers. More than I study humans fucking allow me to see how the computers are superior and what that actually means. Like, 
And then when we create a walking computer, it will like have these flaws in it, right? Because it's got to walk, it's got to move, it's got to have hydraulics, it's going to have oil, it's going to have coolant, it's going to have some sort of fuel pumped into it. Pretty sure that's where we're at. I mean, you can you can see one of these clowns talk about this. But I mean these are these are the usual clowns, right? They tell you nothing of value. They're just like, oh we, we could be in a matrix. It's like, well, who controls the matrix and they I don't know, I think it's Jesus. And you're like, okay, well you're a fucking retard and you don't know what you're talking about at all, period. I mean, they don't even actually say that. That would be like a, you know, they don't say anything. Any channel allowed to get anywhere doesn't say shit of value. They just run their mouths like Jordan Peterson. He just, he sits around and runs his mouth hoping someone will stuff a fucking fat sausage in it so he shuts up. That's what it seems to be his main goal. Like, but that's like everyone on TV, right? It's everyone on YouTube, fucking everyone allowed to participate in this shit. It's like, so like, you know, you have two options. I've just been walking through this world, and so I get to like witness it from the outside. Like, like no one thinks of anything or anyone, and it's like a good cover and shit. I just get to walk by and see this stupid shit happen. Or you could, like, think the logical thing, that it's a game. Although if I'm here to check for bugs and stuff in the beta, I'm not necessarily here to bring forth the end game. The end game might not even be available yet, but... I mean, look at coronavirus. They had to, like, move that shit forward really fast. It's just like, if there was any thinking beings in the Matrix, then they would have looked at the... Uh, the coronavirus is like something like extremely messed up is up and we have to do something about that. But they didn't. They all just, it was like the um, Windows was updated and all of a sudden all the software on Windows knew Windows was updated and they didn't care. They weren't like, oh, we can't believe Windows updated. And then, you know, all of a sudden they say, hey, beep, beep, Hong Kong. Fucking, I'm retarded. I mean, everyone's always saying that before. I just wasn't judging them for it. But these days, I gotta call it how it is. It's not like I'm judging that one of my computers is any dumber than the other. So you know, a calculate. I got like, I guess I do, right? And I throw out the ones who aren't fucking um, any good. Right? Like I look for the ones that are powerful and smart and capable, and then that's it. But. When they update the, the phone, the pieces of software, the other code on the phone isn't like, oh my god, I can't believe you updated. What does that do? Even if you update it with some fucked up shit, the computer isn't like, I can't believe you did that. It's just the computer. It doesn't think for itself. Right? Just like some other shit in this world. It's all about not thinking. It's about turning your brain off. 